Hey folks, I'm Marcel and I am back with The Pulse. Very happy to be back, by the way. I know I haven't been around much lately, but I'm going to get into all that today. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the science, where to access the science that supports NMN. It's something that comes up often. Is it important? Yes, it is important. It's important that there's science behind the supplements that we're taking. Absolutely. Where do you get it? A great source for stories and information about NMN and other things that are NMN universe related is NMN.com of all places. It comes up in a lot of searches. I've been there often and for whatever reason, I've never mentioned them. I don't know who runs NMN.com, but it's a very well-run website with a lot of great scientific information with very specific details about who provided that information. And you can read that and see who provided the information and make your own determination. Interestingly, in one of the recent articles they posted about the science behind NMN, which was posted by a doctor who runs a company that sells NMN, so that's important to keep in mind. But on the bottom of that, it's offset by the fact that they posted a link to a video from Dr. Brad Stanfield explaining why he stopped taking NMN. So I really love that there's that offset, right, of opposing views, that they offer opposing views as well as a pro-NMN slant, which most of the website is pro-NMN. The fact that they're not just saying, hey, we're only going to post pro-NMN stories, that's not the case. So anything NMN important or NMN related is set NMN.com. Their lead story right now, their spotlight story is if you take NMN with citicoline, by the way, the body makes that, so you can eat certain foods, you'll make that, but that's also a supplement that some people sell out there, how it shields against memory decline. And that alone is an interesting read, along with a lot of the other information that's up there. I've had about 20 benefits from NMN. I've had so many benefits from NMN. Those are that I'm aware of, right? A memory decline is not something you're going to be conscious of all the time. It's just another great thing, right? But I have had sharper cognitive function. I've had better focus. I've had more energy. I've had a lot of the things they talk about, improved eyesight, even weird things like better hot cold sensitivity and less bleeding gums. I was kind of pointing at my, my gums there. Uh, and other you know personal things I'd rather not get into at the moment now, but a lot of improvement. Oh, reduced anxiety uh, to the point where I no longer experience anxiety attacks. I've talked a lot about these in the past, but where these things have taken me is to a place where I no longer concentrate and follow really closely all the science behind it. It's not that I won't share stories with you from time to time. It's just that I kind of am the living proof of the science of NMN. And for me, that's my niche. And that's where my focus has been. Now, it's deviated to other places like protection of the source of NMN and your right to take NMN due to factors that were outside factors, right? Not relating to us and NMN and our NMN source, other than the FDA said, hey, this may not be a supplement anymore. Now, at first they said it no longer meets the definition, but since they've backed off and said, we haven't made a final determination. So I've been following that story even more than the science because you know, at that point, we're not debating the science anymore. We're debating, is it a supplement or is it a drug? That's kind of an advancement of this discussion. The science is going to be flowing constantly. And there are many channels that do post science, both pro and con for NMN. If you want to find out more information about NMN, like I said, go to NMN.com. There are loads of studies up there. I mention them and people say, what studies? There you go. Just go up there and check out the human clinical trials. Check out the links there. There's a lot of information. It may not change your mind. It may not be enough for you. My job is to tell my story, protect NMN, and then also go to the next thing, right? Now, I want to talk a little bit more about that and why, and why I think it's important for other people to go to the next thing and not get hung up day to day. Because what's going to happen is if you are attaching your decisions about what you're taking and what you're doing to the latest science, which is constantly someone's take on a, a trial, someone's reading of the information of multiple trials, you you might take it for a while, then you might stop, then you might start again, you might increase, you might decrease. But if you're judging it on your own benefits over time, I believe your odds for making a good decision for yourself improve dramatically. By the way, you could support this channel by using code THEPULSE. 
at donotedge.org. If you order NMN, there's some great specials up there this week. The Black Friday specials are all posted. There's a lot of great deals on NMN and other supplements. Bundles where you can try things out. So there's small amounts of lots of different things. That's really convenient. If you're going to try things out, I suggest you do it slowly. So every month or two, adding something is the way I approached it. Then you can kind of determine what something's doing or not doing for you, how you feel about it. But many of these supplements take time. Like the vitamin D study that came out of Canada last year was a 10-year study. I'm not going to live by the science day to day. I've already experienced the benefits. Not only that, I want to share my mindset with you because I feel very confident that for the next several years, I'm going to feel the way I do now, I have embarked on these efforts towards having a music career. I just secured a company to create a music video for the song Much Better, and we're already talking about a second song. We're gonna do the first video in London at a club after the first of the year. And I'm doing that, spending quite significant amount of funds of my own money for that, So I do that knowing that I'm going to be able to finish an album, that I'm going to be able to do the promotion, that I'm going to be able to perform, that I'm going to be able to do shows. I never had that confidence before. It wasn't just that I didn't have music. I had music, had the ideas, had the contacts, had a song that was successful in a country, Argentina, decades ago, a song that still plays there. But I didn't have the self-confidence that I could pull it all off. It was too daunting. It was too overwhelming. So getting back to NMN... NMN has, for me, empowered me in a way that I feel confident going forward. And that's caused me to not sit down and read every single study as it comes out. Now, if there's a safety study that comes out or or something that really catches my attention that's dramatic, of course, I'm paying enough attention that I'm going to see that right away and I'm going to talk about it right away. And I want you to, because everyone else is going to talk about it. If there's some big breakthrough, good or bad, concerning NMN, then we want to hear it. But if it's just someone's opinion, no, Brad Stanfield's video, got nothing against Brad, but it's him saying I'm not taking NMN as a 30-year-old. It's like me saying I'm not taking thyroid medication anymore. Do I have a thyroid condition? No, I don't. So why should I make a video about not taking thyroid medication? (laughs) Fortunately, a lot of people see it that way. It doesn't mean we shouldn't listen to what Brad has to say. It's interesting stuff. He reads trials. He goes through the data. He's not lazy. He's reporting from his perspective. I don't need an amend. He doesn't take it. As a 30-year-old, I don't see why he would, right? If you don't have a thyroid condition, you're probably not going to have to take thyroid medication. When you listen to somebody that says, hey, I'll be 60 next year. This is where I was. This is where I am, and this is where I feel I'm going, thanks to NMN. But if you want the science, go up to NMN.com. Read the reports. Follow it yourself, by all means. Do Not Age sends out a lot of information about the science constantly. It's great. We should all be following this stuff. At the same time, we should be taking that what we have left of ourselves and doing something with it. And that's what I've mostly been focusing on doing. And it's going well. You know, we're about, I'm about to send off the third song to be mixed for the album to LA to Justin Gariano. Justin, how's it going? He's worked with The Midnight. He produced and mixed them. Uh, He's worked with Britney Spears in the past and many other artists. So Justin is doing the mixing because he specializes in 80s sounding music that's released in a modern way, which is my approach for this project, which is interesting because I'm an 80s guy. I made 80s music in the 80s. And now I'm a modern 80s guy (laughs) taking supplements and uh, going through this anti-aging journey with you guys and releasing music. So it's fun to have like Justin enhance that with his uh, unique mixing capabilities. I'm sending off the third one today and I wrote three more songs over the past few weeks that I think are gonna also end up on the Rex. I'm working on what I said I was gonna be working on and putting my efforts there. Something that came up in the process of that is when I'm writing these songs, I would often get stuck. It, It wasn't so much writer's block, it was just focus block. All right, I would get stuck on choosing some drums or choosing some chords or choosing some you know changes in the songs. And what I'm finding now is I'm sitting there for sometimes an hour or two or three going through sounds or going through chord changes, and I find myself way more patient than I have been in decades past in a way that I was that a 20 or 25 year old can do. They can dedicate their focus to those little changes a lot better than I could at 30, 40, 50. But here I am almost 60, suddenly I'm back to that ability. 
I'm not saying that the music is all that great. I'm not boasting about the music. But I am saying that I am able to focus in a way I haven't been able to do in a long, long time. And I think that's why I'm able to come up with some material I feel good about. Three songs, like that's 30% of the album in a few weeks when I've been doing this for 35 years. So the quality that I'm able to come up with now is back to maybe where I was in my peak. I share that again in hopes that others out there will say, maybe I could do that too. Whatever that is, whatever that thing is for you, maybe you can go out there and try. Take the effort, live a healthier life, eat well, and supplement as needed, as you feel it's needed and as it helps. The only thing I'll say is I try to position supplements as an option to people. I really do. For me, at a certain point, if NMN helps you, I think it's essential. And that gets back to this protection thing, why I'm fighting for it and why I'm trying so hard to protect it. The other thing I will say really quickly about this channel is that here on YouTube, and I'll probably talk more about this later, we are only reaching this core audience. So you watching, you've probably seen me before. You're probably not a new viewer. I'd love to hear from some new viewers, but looking at the analytics, I'm not seeing as many new viewers because they feel like NMN has been flagged at YouTube, and it has been. But what I didn't realize is it wasn't necessarily the FDA's action directly that caused that. There's a middle entity that's caused that to be triggered. So it takes a little bit maybe of the blame away from YouTube because you can, can you really blame them if they're going by a database? What some of the people behind the scenes are trying to figure out now is how did NMN go from, we haven't taken action yet, which is the FDA stand on it, to it's being removed from platforms. Like something was triggered in between those two steps. More on that hopefully soon. I'm waiting to get more details. We have a good idea of who's behind it now, but I can't report on that yet. So, and I've talked about that, that middle player in the past and guessed who it could be. Now we have a decent idea who that is. So more on that hopefully soon. I appreciate you watching. I'll try to be more active during this busy season of the year and still, and maybe share some music clips with you guys of, of the other things I'm working on right now. See you soon.